The prototype of thiazide diuretics is chlorothiazide, which treats severe edema. The newer agent in this group is hydrochlorothiazide. Comparing to its parent drug, hydrochlorothiazide is much more popular because it is more potent and therefore it requires a less dose in clinical usage. With all that said, we will discuss hydrochlorothiazide as the representative drug in thiazide diuretics. Hydrochlorothiazide represents thiazide diuretics and it is categorized as a diuretic class. Hydrochlorothiazide acts on the distal convoluted tubule and ascending loop of Henle, inhibiting sodium chloride transporter. Therefore, it stops reabsorption of sodium and chloride, promoting diuresis, decreasing cardiac preload and blood pressure. Two major indications for hydrochlorothiazide are edema and hypertension. As an antihypertensive, hydrochlorothiazide leads to hypotension, especially orthostatic hypotension. GI adverse effects include stomach discomfort, diarrhea and constipation, and nausea and vomiting. Affecting central nervous system, hydrochlorothiazide can induce dizziness, vertigo, headache, and weakness. Being a diuretic, hydrochlorothiazide affects metabolism and leads to severe side effects of renal failure, polyuria, and electrolyte and fluid imbalances, such as hypokalemia, hyponatremia, and dehydration. Hematologic side effect of a granulocytosis can be induced by hydrochlorothiazide. Thiazides are sulfonamide derivatives. Sulfonamide content medications can induce allergic reactions. Anaphylactic reactions and respiratory distress caused by hydrochlorothiazide can be fatal. Pregnancy, breastfeeding, anuria, systemic lupus, and hypersensitivity to thiazides or sulfonamide derivatives are contraindications for hydrochlorothiazide. Hydrochlorothiazide should be used with caution in cases of severe renal impairment, hepatic dysfunction, and children. Teach the client signs and symptoms of adverse effects. Also teach the client on prevention and management of the side effects. Teach the female client to report pregnancy. Teach the client to call 911 if experiencing symptoms of anaphylactic reaction or respiratory distress. Explain to the patient that antihypertensive effect may be evident after weeks into therapy. Teach the client to monitor blood pressure and heart rate regularly. Teach the client prevention of orthostatic hypotension and safety measures to avoid preventable incidents caused by the adverse effects on cardiovascular and or neurological systems. Teach the client to take medication with food in the morning to avoid GI irritation and inconvenience of nocturia. Second dose of medication should be taken before 6 p.m. in the evening, again with food. Encourage usage of sunblock. Hydrochlorothiazide can induce photosensitivity. Monitor potassium level and encourage high potassium diet. Mild symptoms of hypokalemia, such as muscle weakness and cramps. Potassium sparing diuretics or potassium supplements might be prescribed. Monitor electrolyte and fluid balance, including sodium level, intake and output, weight, etc. Know that elderly clients are more susceptible to hyponatremia or any fluid and electrolyte imbalance. Any fluid and electrolyte imbalance should be corrected prior to initiating hydrochlorothiazide. Monitor kidney function. BUN, creatinine, and basic metabolic panel are commonly used laboratory tests for checking kidney function in clinical practice. For a thiazide diuretic to take effect, the integrity of kidney function is vital. Monitor uric acid level. Hydrochlorothiazide could induce hyperuricemia and gout. 
Hydrochlorothiazide should be paused prior to parathyroid function test. When using hydrochlorothiazide with amphotericin B and corticosteroids, there is an increasing risk of hypokalemia. When used together, adjust doses of anti-diabetic agent because hydrochlorothiazide decreases the secretion of insulin, leading to hyperglycemia. There will be additive effect when thiazides are used with antihypertensives. If used with opioids or barbiturates, risk for orthostatic hypotension increases. There is an increased risk for digoxin toxicity when using a cardiac glycoside with hydrochlorothiazide because of hypokalemia. Severe dehydration and electrolyte imbalance may be induced when using thiazide with other diuretics. Know that hydrochlorothiazide can be used in combination with loop diuretics to increase diuresis or with a potassium sparing diuretic to boost serum potassium. Cholesterol decreases absorption of thiazides. Take these two medications two hours apart. Hydrochlorothiazide interrupts excretion of lithium, increasing risk of lithium toxicity. NSAIDs increase risk of renal failure. Licorice can lead to rapid excretion of potassium, adding risk of hypokalemia on patients using hydrochlorothiazide. Alcohol adds to orthostatic hypotension. Patients should be taught to avoid taking neither licorice nor alcohol during therapy. Hydrochlorothiazide can affect the following laboratory results, including increased blood sugar, increased cholesterol triglyceride, increased calcium, increased uric acid, decreased potassium, decreased sodium, decreased chloride, decreased granulocyte, decreased white blood cell and platelet count. Thank you for taking this lecture with me. I look forward to seeing you again.